Okay, okay, later than usual. It's early morning here in Vietnam, so good morning, Vietnam. I know probably nobody who's possibly going to be watching this is from Vietnam, but I figured I'd say it anyways. Uh, sorry, I'm a little later than usual. Usually I'm only a, a couple minutes late, but uh, today was later than a couple minutes, so I apologize for that. If you're here and you're watching, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know how the lag is. Let me know how my microphone sounds. All the good stuff. And be welcome to join into the chat. Uh, this is all about having discussions here. And uh, just enjoying ourselves on, for me, it's a Sunday morning. And for a lot of you, it's a Saturday night. Get here, talk about cameras. I want to talk about this uh, Nikon uh, Z8 situation. That's going to be one of the big stuff going on because... There's been a lot of confusion uh, about uh, some of the rumors that's been uh, sent out there, and there was a, a leaked image that looks very photoshopped, uh, I gotta admit that. And um, I still thought and still think there's maybe a possibility that it could be real. Um, but uh, some of the things, uh, some of the evidence are starting to grow up against it. And it makes me feel like at least, uh, I, I still think a Z8 makes sense and a Z8 could still be coming, but I do not know if it's going to be coming anytime soon. Uh, so I think it, it's a little bit odd, but uh, we can go into more detail about it soon enough. And I figured we'd chat and talk. If you're here in the chat, be sure to, uh, to talk and let us uh, know you're here. We'll go over some of the latest camera news. We'll, we'll go through uh, camera Canon rumors, as well as Sony Alpha rumors, Nikon rumors, all that kind of stuff. We'll go through all that together, and uh, yeah, we'll enjoy our day, hopefully. So, let's see here. Anybody just chatting anything? Um, nobody jumping into the chat just yet. If you're here listening, I appreciate it. Hit that like button so we can get this out to more people. We're going to be waiting for some people to hopefully jump in so we can start talking. Uh, I will go ahead and go over to uh, some of the trades here and we will just uh, we'll talk just a bit. Let's see here. All right, everything's showing up right. Um, so one of the things I want to talk about and we'll maybe re-go back over this uh, once more people watch, uh, but there is supposed to be another a new Canon RF mount camera in the field. Canon's next APS-C camera will be a small form factor vlogger, which will be, uh, we're told will be close to the EOS M6 Mark II um, in design. Confirmed specs are still relatively unreliable, but you can be sure that it will shoot 4K at 60 and that there will be likely 120 frames per second mode. So I'm guessing in 1080p. Uh, we will also, uh, we've also been told that the camera will use a different kind of very angle LCD screen. So I wonder what that means. Uh, maybe I'm about to read it. It might tell me. But does it mean it's going to flip out to the side and be able to flip up? Is that a possibility? Uh, we cannot confirm this as we haven't seen the camera yet. Canon's current design is loved by a lot of people, but not everyone. The number one complaint we hear is the screen flips to the side and a lot of people would like to see it flip over the camera. We hope to confirm the more information about the camera soon. It is expected to be announced before November 2022. So that's coming right down the road. That's interesting. So what do you guys think about a new RF um, vlogger camera? I, I, I tend to think that a new uh, ZVE-10 is coming. Uh, very short. I don't know if it's going to be that, but it's going to be a new ZV camera. I think it's coming out very soon. I'm probably going to make a video about that maybe next week uh, talking about uh, some of the evidence that's growing up around that for me at least. But this sounds interesting. It kind of makes, I mean, it makes sense. We knew that the we knew that the M6 Mark II and the M6 line in general was a very popular camera for uh, Canon. They were bound to be making an RF version of it. I think the big thing here is, is when are they going to start bringing a lot more um, glass out for this RFS mount? Because if you're going to have these APS-C cameras, especially like the, the vlogger style, you're going to need 
different uh, lenses. That's what I think. Let's see if anybody in the chat is talking yet. Hopefully you're here talking. Nobody in the chat talking. Can y'all hear me good? Everything good? Okay. Confirm here if you can hear. So it might be too late for folks. Uh, some people might have already went to sleep. Usually on Saturday nights, it's actually been doing pretty good. I'm checking my audio levels. I'm not just like hanging out on my phone. So if you see me looking down at my phone, uh, it's not what you think it is. All right. Um, so let's see here. Is, am I lagging really bad? No. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, so if you're here in the chat, I, I'm trying to figure out you know, if, if we're going to actually have a, a good live stream today. I mean, no offense, I, I don't mind having just a, a uh, one person watching or two people watching, but yeah, I would like to be able to conversate with some people and get out there and, and talk about this Nikon situation. Um, it really is kind of interesting because let me go over here to Canon Watch. Uh, initially, with this Nikon Z8 information, we were getting um, some leaker called Hot something, <laughs> Fly something. I can't think of his name. Where is it? Uh, a Twitter account um, came up with this. This basically rumor called How to Fly. That's who it was. Um, now the latest is Nikon Z8 is basically a Z9 without the vertical grip, the same 45.7 megapixel, uh, stack sensor and a speed seven processor inside. I am not allowed to share the high res picture yet. So, um, so essentially a lot of people talked about how this was probably photoshopped. It looks very photoshopped. Even the rim here looks pretty janky so it looks like somebody messed up when they were trying to cut off the bottom so i mean this this is probably photoshopped but what's odd is is that you know some people were saying because this is one of the first guys that made you know um made the announcement about a new camera being tested and all that kind of stuff and when this happened canon watch as well as mirrorless rumors went with it and they said that he is an actual leaker and that he gets some stuff right um canon i think canon watch said he's often reliable and um uh mirrorless rumors say he's very reliable and then nikon rumors was like we hadn't heard about this this isn't happening who is this random twitter guy so to me this wasn't a random twitter guy if multiple you know trades were vouching for him um, but I guess oh, I'm going to switch back to this view right here. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so this is kind of odd. It was odd from the very beginning. Um, uh, and you know, the way it kind of was playing out, it kind of looked like to me that Nikon rumors was being, uh, you know, a little salty that they maybe didn't have the scoop and all that kind of stuff. And it kind of just, that's kind of what it felt like to me. Um, but as times went on, and then now this this image comes out that looks almost photoshopped, and then I think what was even bigger than that is um, Gerald Jared Poland. Man, I'll mess these up all the time. Jared undone. Gerald. Anyways, I mix these two up. Frono's photo. He he had his uh, latest talking about uh, the Nikon Z8 and questioning whether it was even going to be coming. And if it was, you know, real and he suspected that it was fake and all kinds of stuff. And so at that point, if it's out in the field being tested, like the original tweet says, and it's probably coming in August, like it what was originally reported, you would think somebody like, you know, Frono's photo would have some inclination about it. Like they would, they would probably be one of the people's testing it. They, they tested uh, the Z, the Z9. They tested the different lenses that they've 
brought out. I'm not saying that they would 100% know, like, that a Z8 is not coming. So, like, maybe a Z8 will be coming in October or November or later. They might not would know now if it's coming. But if a Nikon Z8 was supposed to be coming in August, like originally was being said and it was being tested out in the field, I think that they would know. And uh, that makes me think uh, that maybe uh, how to fly was uh, bullshitting us, essentially. But we'll see soon enough. Let's see where we're at. If you're here and you're watching, you're enjoying, you're listening, I appreciate it. Hit that like button. We can get this out to more people, and that way we can we can maybe get some conversation started so I'm just not monologuing this whole time. I appreciate that. If you're here in the, and you'd like to chat, please do. I appreciate that as well. So that's kind of been the big issue here. I tend to think that an Icon Z8 actually does make sense. Um, but at the same time, um, I just with the way the evidence is stacking up, it makes me feel like it's not coming out, um, in August and, and that this basically isn't a legitimate rumor. That's where I'm kind of sitting right now. I'm probably like on a 70% chance that that's what the case is, especially just considering I mean, that looks pretty dang photoshopped. I mean, you're, you can say something slow res, but I mean, that's a very, like, that's wonky. That looks fairly photoshopped. Um, maybe better than I could do it Photoshop, but not very good at all. So, I don't know. Um, it, to me, it just seems a little um, sus at this point. And I don't know why somebody, like, if he is a real leaker, and, you know, in general, and he's been right before, like Canon uh, Watch and uh, Mirrorless Rumors says, I don't know why he would be a person that would basically just completely dump on his own reputation by acting like he, he has it. And so I'm not allowed to share the full high res yet. So what I was initially thinking with something like this is that... Um, you know, it could be the same angle as the Nikon Z9 because it's from promotional material and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know, the more I look at it, it doesn't even look like it's really low resolution. It looks like it's it's just um, like it looks like it's almost uh, meant to be pixelated. Like it looks like the camera is really high resolution in some ways. But then they like show the pixels like this to me looks like it would be way blurrier than the rest of this. I don't know. Maybe that's just uh, that's just me picking out to it too much. But we will see. Um, I have heard this before uh, that the Nikon Z9 sensor is made by Sony. It's interesting, it's, which I guess you know it, it could still be a specifically made sensor for uh, the brand. It doesn't much mean anything. Okay. Are we getting anybody here in the chat that wants to talk? If you're here in the chat and you want to talk, always appreciate it. Um, I may go ahead and and talk a little bit. I, I might actually wind up clipping this part out if, if nobody's here uh, wanting to chat right now. Um, because I'm, I'm going to be going on a, uh, a trip here um, tonight, like 2 a.m. in the morning. We head out to um, to this island place and I don't know how the internet connection is going to be uh, I want to film like a video but I'm not sure if I want to get a chance to have a middle of the week video so if that's the case um, I may or may not just clip this particular part out or I might make a whole video about it but I want to go over a little bit here with you guys and test the idea um, that there is going to be a new Nikon Z9 camera coming in um, uh, a new Nikon Z9 camera coming in uh, 20 uh, sorry 2020 in, in September so so first off the evidence looks like this um, obviously 
Sony Alpha Rumors has always been hit or miss, but it's pretty much the only game in town when it comes to Sony, uh, especially since uh, there's a big Twitter guy who uh, I can't think of his name for now, but he used to release everything, and now he isn't really doing that uh, any kind of leaks anymore. But ever since he went away, really Nikon Rumors is all we have, or Sony Alpha Rumors is all we have. Let me see if I can find the article. Um, but essentially, even if I can't find it, I don't want to make anybody sick. Just scroll on here. Um, if I can't find it, basically the argument goes a little bit like this. Um, Sony Alpha Rumors for a long time has been saying that there is going to be a new ZV camera coming. They say uh, September, October is when the new cameras are going to start being announced. Um, they talk about, obviously, the Canon EOS R uh, Mark V. That's another interesting one that they're talking about. But they've been saying that the ZV cameras are here to stay, and there's another one coming. Then, very recently, there was a Sony executive that came out and said that um, the Sony ZV-E10 was, like, the fastest selling camera or shipped camera or something of the nature out of any Sony camera ever, I think that was the terminology. And so it's definitely a big seller, surprising to me because I wasn't a fan of it. Um, the other thing is we have uh, the Nikon or the, the Canon R7 and cameras like that that are more in the high end APS-C uh, range and Sony doesn't really have anything competing with it. Um, so I'm wondering if there's going to be a higher-end ZV camera that comes out, considering that that seems like the brand that they're going with. I think it may be really, uh, replacing like the 6600-era cameras. So I think it may be going towards the ZV line. Even if they have a high-end version that would be competing with the R7, uh, it would be called like a ZV camera. That's how I'm looking at it right now. Um, the other thing, another big one is uh, that recently we heard from uh, one of the pretty big YouTubers uh, that are uh, that watch the channel, that get on the live chat, that they're going to a ZV conference here in, uh, I guess it will be another week. They said it was about two weeks last week. And that there's a ZV conference going on uh, from Sony that they're invited for. It didn't act, he didn't know that there was going to be another camera or something announced, but to me, it sounds like they're going to go there and they're going to be testing another ZV camera. That's my sub suspicion. He didn't confirm, deny, or didn't know. Uh, but that makes sense to me. If there is going to be a new one coming out in September, then it makes sense that they're going to be going there, getting their hands on it, maybe getting a preview unit to take back with them and going to be working on it. That's kind of what made sense to me. But it, is that line of evidence makes sense for any of y'all? If you're in the chat, maybe drop in here and, and let me know, does that sound like enough evidence to kind of base at least a, you know, a hypothesis on it's, it's not saying that I'm not going to be like, Oh, it's leaked or it's confirmed or this is happening, but to paint a picture of at least why this is a possibility, does that actually make sense as an argument or uh, am I completely off base here? All right. Doesn't look like we're having a big live stream today. Huh? No, I'm saying um, we're here, but it doesn't seem like we have as many people as we usually do. Um, huh? Yeah, it might be a little late for people. A lot of times I try to jump on at 8.30. Last week was 8.45 as well, but uh, there's there, there wasn't. I think there is now. Uh, if you're here and you are wanting to chat, be sure to chat. Hit it, hit up the chat so I, I'm not monologuing this entire time. It's, uh, it's very lonely out here. Um, so I was talking about uh, the ZVE 10 or the ZVE 10 having like a um, maybe a high end upgrade that was uh, kind of what I was just discussing um, but also I was talking about the Nikon uh, 
Z8, some of the stuff that's going on. I, I will definitely repeat it, but I want to repeat it to make sure that uh, there's people here that want to watch. I know it's a little bit later than usual. I've been um, trying to start at the latest is 845 here in the morning, uh, but I know in America that that's quite a bit later on a Saturday night, uh, so a lot of people might have uh, prior engagements. Maybe I need to uh, move down the time back to like 830 or something like that. Because uh, we're not getting, uh, I appreciate anybody who's watched, anybody who hit the like button. Uh, but I hope to get this out to enough people that we got people that want to chat. And that way we can kind of have a back and forth conversation. Uh, so I think if you're here, oh, well, well now, I don't know, it's just people are showing up. If you're here and you're watching, uh, hit that like button. Let's get this out to more people so that maybe we can get a conversation going. If you're just here to listen, well, that's okay, too. I appreciate it. Um, but I am uh, looking in. We've been doing about 20 minutes. I've went over some of the topics. Uh, there's only so many topics that I can go over by myself <laughs> without uh, just starting to completely repeat myself. So if you're here, I would love if you jump in the chat and start talking to me. That would be great. I feel very lonely. Help me. I need a friend. I was watching. I've been listening to a podcast called Conan Needs a Friend. It's really good. I'm not sure if you, anybody have heard it. Um, okay, so I went over the reason why I think there's going to be a ZVE10 follow-up camera. We talked a little bit about... Um, talked a little bit about this uh, seemingly bogus Nikon Z8 story, which is uh, very disappointing because overall I've been, uh, I've been somebody who's covered it. I've, I know there's been a lot of interest in it. Uh, some of my latest videos were about it. And it seems like um, people are very interested in the camera and it makes sense for it to be coming out sooner rather than later. But um, the way the evidence is stacking up, I don't want to just go off of uh, biases. I really hope that it's true, uh, but it's starting to look less and less true as each day passes. That's how I see it. Um, doesn't mean that it's not going to be coming. I can see a Z8 camera still coming, but whether or not it's going to be um, whether or not it's going to be here anytime soon, I guess is the big question. Let's go ahead and refresh Sony Alpha Rumors. See if we just might get lucky and see. Uh, sometimes we can refresh Sony Alpha Rumors, and next thing you know, we have a uh, we have a, a, a new rumor on our hands. Let's see here. New Tamron patent. That's not very interesting. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, full frame. Okay. So there's not too much camera news that I haven't covered. We talked about this next RF mount camera, uh, which is uh, the M6 Mark II. It uh, seems like uh, you know it's going to be a new M6 Mark II, the, the RF version of it. That seems uh, fairly obvious. Makes sense. Uh, we can talk about it more, but I want to make sure that we have people that are wanting to actually talk about cameras tonight. It's okay. It's a Saturday night for a lot of people. I understand that as well. Okay, this thought this was fairly interesting. Uh, Canon thinks that the market decline has bottomed out and uh, targeted growth is coming. So this is interesting because uh, the, the camera industry has basically plummeted for a while now. Every th since like 2010, I think it's been on a very a steep decline. And it's really correlated a lot with, um, you know, the rise of smartphones and just stuff and that kind of stuff in general. It seems like it's uh, more of a dying tech, unfortunately, even though it can feel like it's really big in our bubble because, you know, we have, um, you know, groups of people that are big. You know, we have Fronos Photo, we have Peter McKinnon and things like that. But if you, if you look at that people like, it doesn't necessarily mean that the camera industry is uh, thriving because of, of that, even though it seems like it would be. Uh, but it seems like it's been going down, uh, but Canon seems to think it's hit its bottom. I also found it very, like, kind of, uh, 
concerning and also interesting uh, that apparently here they say something to do with a, um, let me find it. Oh, here it is. Um, Canon says, says something to do with along the lines of a, a Sony executive says that smartphones will surpass uh, as far as like their capabilities will surpass uh, cameras in the next three years, which uh, sounds ridiculous to me personally. But um, I mean, they are going faster, but that, that is uh, definitely disappointing that Sony would think that. Here it is. Uh, now Canon thinks they will see growth in the prosumer and professional spaces. A Sony executive's recent silly claim that smartphones would surpass interchangeable lens cameras and performance within three years aside. Canon will continue to listen to consumers and produce targeted products to meet their ever-changing needs. So, them saying this um, is silly. I'm not saying it's going to happen within three years. But if Sony is thinking this way, um, then that makes me worry about uh, Sony's, um, I guess, commitment to the camera industry um, in general. And maybe it's just a lone executive making this thing, but anytime you have like a owner of a company basically saying, oh, the, yeah, these cameras aren't going to be uh, lasting for long. We got smartphones that are going to surpass this in, in three years. <laughs> to me, that uh, doesn't sound good for your camera company, personally. So let's see if we got anybody in the chat here. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a day. It does not seem like uh, many, some people jumped in and jumped out. Maybe they couldn't actually talk today. Maybe they were listening. I appreciated anybody that just sit here and listen. Anybody who liked, that was been great. But I do not want to just uh, have a one-way conversation. Usually I like to be able to chat back and forth. And I understand it's a late night in America, and maybe I started a little bit too late for people. I apologize for that. If you were here, I appreciate all of you. If you happen to have not subscribed and you're watching this on the replay, be sure to subscribe. And I usually bring you camera news and all that types of stuff. Do a little bit of other things, but most of the time it's mostly camera news. Uh, but until next time, I'm going to say a good night or good morning, depending on where you are, and peace.